Okay, welcome back. It's McCall here again. Um, last video we did was the law of vibration. Um, we're still doing the Kabbalion. And as always, we're reading from the Kabbalion. Everybody, if you're studying, you need to have the Kabbalion. It's a good way to begin if you're getting started in this. That's the good book to begin with. But last video, as I said, we were doing the law of vibration. Today we're going to go over the law of polarity. Okay. I believe this is the fourth. We're on the fourth law now. Three more to go. Okay. So I'm going to cover the law or principle of polarity. All right. So the principle of polarity, the axiom for this is everything is dual, everything has poles, everything has its pair of opposites, like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature but different in degree. Extreme meets. All truths are but half truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. Okay? So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna read a little bit here and then we're gonna, you know, discuss it. And we're going to keep going because i got a lot to read. Hopefully this video isn't too long. But we'll see how it goes. Okay? Alright, so the principle of polarity. This principle embodies the truth that everything is dual. Okay? Everything has two poles. Okay? If you understand... Um, I'm not going to skip it. We're going to go through it because I don't want to give it away. We're going to read it and then we'll go with it. Okay. Everything has its pair of opposites, all of which were old hermetic axioms. It explains the old paradoxes that have perplexed so many, which have been stated as follow. Okay. Thesis and antithesis are identical in nature, but different in degree. Opposites are the same, differing only in degree. The pair of opposite may the pair of opposites may be reconciled. Extreme meets. All right, that was in quotes. Everything is and isn't at the same time. All truths are but half truths. Every truth is half false. There are two sides to everything, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so what are we saying here? When you have something. And it it will go further explaining it as we read. Let me take a sip of your mouth. It is dry. You have two sides, okay? One side is one thing. One side is the other thing. Um, I'm just saying that because you can feel it with anything, okay? In the book, it it will explain as we read on as in. Um, it's easy to understand it. it's hot and cold, right? Hot and one side you have cold. They're only different is based on their degree of vibration. Right? Going back to the law of vibration. All of them come together. Okay? And so, so you have one end and you have the other end and then you have everything in between. So you have warm, you know, slightly warm, less warm. But hot, cold, extremely hot, extremely cold. They're the same thing, they're temperature. But they're different just based on their degrees. But nonetheless, they're the same thing. Okay? So we're going to continue reading and then we'll get deeper into this. Where did I leave off? Okay, go on. It explains that in everything there are two poles or opposite aspects and that opposites are really only two extremes of the same thing, as we just went over, as I just tried to explain it to you with hot gold. With many varying degrees between them. To illustrate, heat and cold. This is what I was talking about. Although opposites are really the same thing, the difference consisting merely of degrees of the same thing. Look at your thermometer and see if you can discover where heat terminates and cold begins. There is no such thing as absolute heat or absolute cold. 
the two terms heat and cold simply indicate varying degrees of the same thing and that and that same thing which manifests as heat and cold is merely a form variety or rate of vibration once again going back to the law of vibration so heat and cold are simply the two poles of that which we call heat and the phenomena attending thereupon are manifestations of the principle of polarity okay so heat and cold are the same thing they're heat just different degrees of it okay so I want to start out with that because that gives you a simple explanation of polarity that way you can understand it grasp it because everybody knows temperature everybody knows heat and cold and it's easily for you to grasp that and then we can move on and try to get to the more advanced understanding of the law of polarity okay the same principle operates on the mental plane once again we're getting into the mental plane okay another plane of existence next to the physical everything here in the physical that's the physical plane there's other planes I will probably make a video one day going into these different planes of existence okay the same principle operates on the mental plane let us take a radical and extreme example of that of love and hate two mental states apparently totally different and yet they are degrees of hate and degrees of love and a middle point in which we use the terms like or dislike which shade into each other so gradually that sometimes we are at a loss to know whether we like or dislike or neither okay. and all the simple degrees of the same thing as you will see if you will but think a moment And more than this, and this is um parentheses, and consider a more importance by the hermeticus, hermeticus, in parentheses, it is possible to change the vibration of hate to the vibration of love in one own in one own in one's own mind and in the minds of others. So now you get to do the mental plane, and they used hate and love in that um, I have more to read it will go deeper but you see they're the same thing and you can change one to the other but the change can only happen once you understand mentally where you are if you know you're in a state of hate most people when they're in that state will just act upon being in that state right and because you act upon that things will happen based upon that based upon depending on what it is your action is because any mind state you're in and you fuel that with an emotion basically when you have the emotion of hate i mean um hate you there's anger emotion behind that or fear mostly then you're gonna act depending on what the situation is because you're not understanding what's going on and you're just running on automatic okay you're like a, a robot basically that's what when you're talking about robots that's basically what they're talking about they're, some people think we're getting into actual robots, which could be, but we're talking about the mind control of the people, putting them basically on automation. Basically, they're not thinking, they're just reacting to everything. And what they're doing is basically stimulating certain emotions and mental states in you by doing certain events or whatever it is they do, okay? But if you act on hate, whatever happens you know that situation will play itself out whatever happens will happen because you're in that but if you understand what's going on 
you can change that to its opposite, which would be love, right? And then you can act upon that and your situation or whatever would change. Different outcome. Okay? But understanding that they're one and the same, you can switch from one to the other or any varying degree in between them. Instead of just blindly acting off of one or the other, not understanding what it is. Right? But we're getting to more of that. Let me find it in my other pages. Okay. We'll get more into it. All right. They begin by showing that spirit and matter are but the two poles of the same thing. Okay? Spirit and matter. Now, we know what matter is. Anything physical. That's matter. Okay? What is spirit? Spirit is that invisible thing that is required for you to even have anything physical. Okay? But they are one in the same. The physical has to have an opposite invisible thing, right? Energy. That's spirit. Okay? One in the same, just different degrees based on the vibration. Okay? Matter is a slower vibration. Spirit is a higher vibration. The intermediate planes being merely degrees of vibration. They show that the all and the many are the same. The difference between merely a matter of degree of mental manifestation. Thus the law and laws are the two opposite poles of one thing. Likewise, principle, and they put this in all caps, and principles. Right? Then they're doing that because law was in capitalizing they had law. In lowercase infinite mind and finite minds okay once again infinite mind finite mind same thing different degrees and vary in vibration right you want an infinite mind you don't want a finite mind everybody's walking around who has who's lacked knowledge and his ignorance has a finite mind meaning they have a limitation to what it is they can do or what they can think you know what I'm saying when your mind itself is infinite. Okay? That's what you're striving for. And that takes an understanding. Okay? I'm going to finish reading. In addition to changing of the poles of one owns mental state by the operation of the art of polarization, the phenomenon of mental influence in its manifold phases show us that the principle may be extended so as to embrace the phenomenon of the influence of one mind over that of another. So now we're getting into the understanding that one person can change the mind or the state of another person based on this person understanding this law and understanding that this person is in a certain vibration if I raise my vibration or my mindset to the opposite I can influence that other person we'll get into more of that. I'm reading and tell you more about this and we'll discuss that where was I at okay of which so much has been written and taught of, of late years. When it is understood that mental induction is possible, that is that mental states may be produced by induction from others, that we can readily see how a certain rate of vibration or polarization of a certain mental state may be communicated to another person. As his polarity in that case, in that class of mental states, thus change. It is along this principle that the result of many results of many of the mental treatments are obtained. For instance, a person is blue, melancholy, 
full of fear. A mental scientist bringing his own mind up to, desire, to the desired vibration by his trained will and thus obtaining the desired polarization in his own case then produces a similar mental state in the other by induction. The result being that the vibrations are raised and that person polarize, polarizes towards the positive end of the scale instead towards negative, and his fear and other negative emotions are transmuted to courage and similar positive mental states. Ooh. So what is that tonight? So now they put um, a person who is melancholy and in fear, okay? We're going to use that example because that's what we just read. So they say a mental scientist. This is basically somebody who understands these laws, okay? You're going to interact with people who understand this. They don't have to say it. You're not going to look a certain way. You're just going to interact. They, If you don't know, they just look like normal people, okay? But somebody who understands this can look at a person or somebody, you know, it could be a family member or a friend or whatever. And you know this mental state that they're in based on whatever just happened. Who knows? Whatever. You can put in many, many situations in there. But you recognize the state that they're in. You yourself, if you're trying to help this person, you can pretty much say, okay, I know what state they're in. What is the opposite state that we want them to be in so they can get out of this fear or whatever it is they're in, right? And from that, you interact with this person or you're talking to this person, but you're in a state or your mental state is in the opposite. So you're talking to them, whatever it is y'all do, we all do when we're talking or whatever, trying to console whoever, whatever, you understand. But when you're in the opposite state that they're in, you can raise their vibration or their mental state to the one that you're in so you can pull them out of the state they're in so they can take care of whatever issue they have to take care of. We do this on a regular basis, but not understanding what it is we're doing. You're doing, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a high science, right? But we all do it unwillingly. Now we're supposed to know these laws and we can start doing this stuff willingly or we're aware of it rather than being ignorant of it. Okay? So that's the that's polarity. More to understand polarity is how this is used against you now, right? So if you understand that some most things, if you understand if they're opposites, they're basically the same thing. Now, understand that you can't change heat and do love, okay? So they have to be in the same perspective, basically. Okay? So mostly opposites are the same. Or if anything, as they a lot of time you when you're presented. You're always presented with two sides, right? Or two aspects, right? Let's take an example of all of you who want to follow politics or this presidential thing, whatever, and you understand that you have a Democrat and a Republican. If you understand polarity and understand laws, both sides are the exactly the same thing. They're just different in degrees. They're opposite, but they're the same thing. There's no difference between the two. Okay? One is just one side, and the other is the other side, but they're the same thing. You need to understand the middle point and understand not to get involved in that. It's a game. They're playing on your, un your unknowingly understanding of polarity. Because you're bound by this law, all you're bound by all the laws in the Kabbalion, if you're aware of them or not. Okay, these are the laws you're bound by. Okay, these are the laws of your mind and the laws of energy. You are nothing but energy, you are bound by these laws. You have people who know this, and they play these laws against you. 
So you're all going out there voting for one or the other when they're the same. You benefit from none. You will not benefit from either because the system is not made for you to benefit from it. That's an example. Okay? So understand that they're the same thing. Okay? And the person pulling the strings is somebody you don't know. Okay? The president does nothing. It's just a face. The real person making things happen is a person you don't know. And that person doesn't change. Whoever's in there has an agenda to do. If they don't do their agenda, they kill them. That's just how it goes. Okay? No. None of them, none of those presidents ever did anything for you. None of them. As a matter of fact, to even be in that, you have to be um, in masonry. So, don't worry about all that and get emotionally involved in that. That's what they want you to do. They're playing upon their understanding, the person who's pulling the strings, their understanding of these laws against you. So you need to understand that. That was one example. And then they go and tell you that like and unlike are the same. That's the law of polarity. You have two opposite ends, but they're the same. Only different in a variation in the degrees of vibration. Okay? Which goes back to the law of vibration. Where are we at on this? 21 minutes. Okay. So hopefully that helped. Read a lot. Go back over it. Listen to it again. Or if not, get the book, read it for yourself, because there's a lot more in here about polarity. I just read a little bit. There's a lot more. Everything I read from here, I only get a little bit of it. There's a lot more in it, and it goes into a lot more. I'm just not reading all that in these videos, okay? You all have to go and do that yourself. But the law of polarity, understanding that like and unlike are the same. Opposites are the same, just a different in degrees of vibration. Okay, understand this and you go out there and you apply this understanding, apply all the laws and go out and pay attention and you'll start seeing these laws play out in the physical world. They do. Once you know them, you can see it. Once you see it, you're aware of it. Once you're aware of it, certain things don't affect you anymore. Only things that affect you are things that you are unaware of or what you're ignorant of. Okay, you have to come out of ignorance. You have to understand this stuff. This stuff was left for you, for you to understand. By our ancestors, the ones who've been here for so long. Okay, that's another thing that people's got to start grasping. History, what they say, is not what it is, okay? True history, you're not told it, okay? The indigenous people have been here for a very long time. Okay. This knowledge was left for us by our ancestors. For this specific time for you to get it, to reawaken yourself. That's the time you're in. So, Kabbalion, we're, we just went over the fourth one, which is the law of polarity. Um, the next one, I do believe. Okay, the fifth one, the next one we're going to go over in another video. It's the law of rhythm. Okay, we're getting through there. That's the fifth one. It's only seven. So we're getting through there. Um, I will put all these in a playlist. So that you can go in and then just watch them all to get an understanding of these laws, okay? So, that's it for today. That's my video. Law of Polarity. Goodbye, and please understand. Get the book. Read it. Read the other laws. Apply them. Watch what happens, okay? The keys to unlock all the doors. Alright? So, like, I, like always, know thyself. You will understand the nature of the universe and God, all right?
this is McCall. Thank you.